All right, everybody, this is Sheets, and we're going to be going over this kind of monster NHL slate for this evening. Um, it's opening night in the NBA, and I can only hope that people are not paying attention, but unfortunately, it's such a big slate that everybody's going to be taking a shot at this one. Um, okay, I also want to trot out a new uh, feature, which I've been working on for, well, I don't want to lie. I was about to say I've been working on it for two years. I haven't really been working on it for two years. I've just been lazy about getting it done. Uh, for two years and I finally got it done and I will share that with you as we get to it okay so what we're going to do is we're going to go through the games first we're going to just take a, a kind of a bird's eye look at the totals and then we are going to take a look at my sheets then we're going to do one other thing which I'm teasing right here and then we are going to uh, build a hand-built lineup based on the things I'll show you and then we will go to SaberSim and use a combination of its lineup builder and its contest simulator to um uh to build a, a kind of a portfolio of lineups um, so let's just take a look first of all with respect to the totals um all right so new jersey's over a four florida's about a four boston's almost a four edmonton's only 3.4 wow um and la is almost a four vegas not quite so we're looking at probably the top teams as far as team totals would be LA um Boston so LA Boston and Florida those are the ones that have a team total above four and also New Jersey um but let's just see what the sheets kind of look like here and uh we'll try to hand build the lineup so first of all let's take a look at it and again, uh, we're, we're sorting everything, we're ranking everything by sheets value score. Um, we do have you know, everything else here, you know, uh, fantasy points, points per dollar, uh, projected ownership, uh, what's, what line they're on, both even strength and power play. But this, these could all change as, you know, the uh, kind of closer to lock. But let's just take a look and see what looks good. In other words, what we're trying to find is basically guys that are rated really high that play on the same team you know because that's the way hockey is hockey you know correlates one guy passes to the other and that guy scores and yay everybody's happy um in addition to that it would be nice for have to have those players to be either on the same even strength line or the same power play line or maybe both so let's just take a look now again what i like to do is first take a real you know quick look and see what this looks like visually and the first thing that I notice when I look at it is there's nothing that really stands out as a top overall value score. In other words, there's no kind of standout one-off. That's the first thing I look at. Next thing I look at is that the top overall play on the slate, as far as the sheets value score, is a cheapo about 5,100, which is, which is pretty cool. So it allows you to play him into, not that he's a cheapo, but you know he's cheaper than some of these could be. Um, so Evander Kane looks like a pretty decent one-off. And, uh, you know, we've played him uh, on Edmonton stacks a lot, so he's probably going to fit into Edmonton stacks if they look good here. The next thing I notice is uh, is Alex Iafalo, again, uh, is very cheap at 4,200 and rates really highly. And then I see two others, Evan Rodriguez and Nikolai Ellers. Now, the next thing I notice is that two of the guys I just mentioned are on the same team. So Iafalo and Ellers. So let's investigate a little more. They're on different, they're on different uh, even straight lines, but they're on the same power play line. Um, and you get Kyle Connor, who he's not cheap, but he fits right along there. So he's on the power play line as well. So already it's kind of standing out as probably Winnipeg would be the top kind of one-off team or, you know, hand-built team that I would want as my initial stack. What else can I look at? Um, ooh, I see that along with Rodriguez, you have Alexander Barkov, who is also, he's 1-1, one, one, meaning even straight line one, power play line one. He's rated highly, so that looks like a pretty good stack or a mini stack. Then I see Hyman, who is fits that Edmonton thing? You have Evander Kane, second line only, but first power play line, and 
Zach Hyman first power play line. So that's pretty good. And then you see another Florida guy over here to go with Barkov and, uh, well, Kachuk up here. So we have Kachuk, Rodriguez, Barkov, uh, and who else did I say? Reinhardt, but then this also still works as the goalie. So, again, without even doing anything, we're looking at maybe Edmonton, maybe Florida, maybe Winnipeg. And then another one that stands out is, is L.A. Because you have Fiala up here. Now, he's only on the third line, but first power play line. Tempe, first power play line. And Dubois, first power play line. So, uh, that could be an interesting stack as well. So even though it's a big 13 uh, game slate, we can I already identify pretty good stacks. So again, Florida, Winnipeg, LA, maybe Edmonton. Now, so now the next thing I want to do is try out the new little toy that I created. I did it for football. I did it for um, I did it for uh, League of Legends. And finally got around to it. I did a stacks tool for hockey. Hooray. Uh, again, I should have done this a long time ago. I just didn't have the patience. And we I finally worked with my developer dude and we figured it out, I think. Uh, we'll just kind of see. But for those of you that have been doing 2DFS for a while, you will recognize this out, this, this, this layout. Um, it's the same as it was for baseball and for well, League of Legends and for football as well. So what we're looking at here is basically each team just kind of rating their top stack. And that could be a four man. It could be a five man. Usually it's going to be a five man, um, but sometimes it could be a four man. And we have, have them rated one of three ways. Um, on the left side is just by raw stack. So that means just raw points, which rates to be the highest amount of points of fantasy points. And then here, it's the combined ownership of those uh, of those of those people. Now uh, over here, it has top, rated by top value stack, and this is just based basically point per dollar and the ownership. And then over here, we have modified stack, which is a blend of, of top point per dollar stack and top overall stack as far as raw points go. This is basically the top sheets value score stacks, okay, and the ownership as well. Um, so what you can do is refer to this, uh, this kind of guide for hand building and make your life a lot easier uh, than, than just scrolling down that list that I usually show. So the first thing that I noticed, again, when you look at it this way, you sort by modified stack. There's the, there's the teams that we identified, Florida, Winnipeg, LA, and Edmonton. And just to do it this way as well. Even by raw points, Florida, Edmonton. This one gets New Jersey and Winnipeg. So New Jersey is good, but they're not quite, you know, they're, they're not very good value. And then on straight point per dollar, LA, Winnipeg, Florida, and Chicago gets there a little bit. So um, this stack tool is, is just a nice other visual to help you just figure out who to play if you're a hand build. So for example, um, let's build a hand-built lineup just using the stacks tool and the sheets. So I guess it's going to be either Florida or Winnipeg, right? Or both. And maybe LA. So let's just see what this looks like. So let's pull up a, a DraftKings. Um, this is Sabres. And let's pull up DraftKings lineup. This is the dummy lineup. And let's see what we can build. So let's just plug these in. So again, this is, doesn't give the position. So, but I think you should be able to get all these in. So Florida will be Rodriguez, Ekman, Ekman Larson, Kachuk, Barkov, Reinhardt. So let's put all those guys in. And let's just see if we can do this. Florida. So who's it? Barkov, um, Kachuk, Reinhardt, Rodriguez, Ekman Larson. So these five. Um, now the next thing I'd like to do is put a put a goalie in. So what I'd like to do for that is just pick the lowest price goalie who rates well. And 
thankfully, our good friend Igor uh, is under 8K, and he's rated number one, so let's put him in there. Goalie, Igor. And that leaves us with 3,200 a man. Um, so you can probably do this, right? Let's put a little bit of stress on you, you know? Um, let's just see, like, what some of those cheapos look like. Oh, 3,200 a man. That's not so easy. So let's take a look. Anybody really cheap up here? Nobody's really cheap. You'd have to go down to, well, Leclerc is a good kind of one-off. Ooh, look at this. You have Kaliev on L.A., but he's not part of that same line. But he's cheap. But he's a wing. So we're kind of looking for another defenseman and a center, honestly. So it looks like the, it's a little hard to get in these the Florida the way we want. All right, so let's now go and try to use, um, let's try Winnipeg. Let's see what Winnipeg looks like. So the Winnipeg stack looked like this, right? So it would be Iafalo, Elvers, Connor, Shepley, Morrissey. Let's see what that, let's see how much that costs. Winnipeg, Shefley, Connor, Ellers, Iafalo, and Morrissey. And this is 4,400 a man. So this we could do a little bit easier. Okay. Um, now let's again, let's go to those cheapos and see what they look like. And I still think we could save a little more money at goalie, but we'll get to that in a minute. So was there a good, what do we, what do we, the center and a defenseman and then a utility? Well, we're not paying that for Josie. We're not paying that. There's no cheap defenseman that we can play here. Dobson, 5,300. Shea, 6,000. We could play the Ekman Larson. From that Florida, let's see what that looks like. And now it's forty-two hundred a man, so we need a cheap center and any and a cheap anything. So let's see what the centers look like. Well, if I'm, I wasn't mistaken, wasn't there a sort of cheap Florida one? I guess not. Kopitar from LA. That's not bad. Hurdle. What if we just sorted by points per dollar and see if that helps? There's the Dubois 4,800, Colton 2,800. So if you play Dubois, I mean, you could probably do this, right? So Dubois up here. And if we could save a little bit, of, just a little bit of money at goalie. I think we can get that other utility guy from LA in pretty cheap. Can't for six thousand, but maybe Kaliev, something like that. Kopitar, can we do that? We just did Kopitar, so it was Kopitar and Dubois, two centers. Could almost get it done. Um, let's see. So we're 1,300 uh, over here, but it, we're, it's close. It's definitely close. Um, so maybe Ekman Larson isn't going to work. You find a cheaper defenseman, but I think this is actually close. So you could probably build a decent lineup this way. Um, okay, so one more, and then we will see, then we'll go to the, uh, we'll go to Saberson. Let's just build it straight from LA. And this is probably going to be somewhat cheaper, right? I would think. So LA, it's going to be Fiala, Kempe, Dubois, Kopitar, Dowdy. So let's put those guys in, see how cheap those are. Kopitar, Dubois, Fiala, Kempe, and, and Dowdy. I mean, this is this is real good. I mean, this is this is this is what we're talking about here. 
I mean, now it's 5,300 a man. So if you go a five man here, then you could play my, you know, your favorite one off, like the Evander Kane, if you want to do that at 5,100. And you can even compare him. You can even pair him with that other Edmonton guy if you want. Uh, who is it, Hyman? And then just any old, and then then play defenseman. If you wanted to do that, who and that would be just for fun. Who? What was I follow? Is he? Uh, is he a defenseman? I think so. Dobson. The cheap defensemen are kind of hard to find. Let's just see what these look like. Luke Hughes. Well, that could be okay. 3,400. There you go. So Luke, Luke Hughes. Actually, we only need 4,100, so we can even do better than this. Uh, you could almost play four slam. We've seen just a little bit of money. Or even Darnell Nurse. Ooh, another Edmonton. No, because you have to play it from different um, from different teams. Let me just see what other goalies I have. I'm spending way too much time on this, but let's see what other goalies I have here. That's cheaper, maybe the 7,900. Not much. Ooh, Ilya. Ooh. Ilya, 7,300. Even better than Igor. Oh, and all those Colorado shots. Let's go. So who is it that I was struggling over to play at 4,800? Somebody. And now I can play. Oh, the Ekman. Oh, let's go. This is too easy. And what's annoying is that we're not actually going to play this because all these projections are going to change. But this is this is the this is the process. All right. So let's go to SaberSim and we will upload the uh current projections, I guess, to the to SaberSim. Ooh, I wonder if I did the, put the contest sim simulators in. Or I wonder if – ooh, these guys are out. Okay, exclude out players. I wonder if they uh, did it for me. I'll, I'll show you what I mean. Let's first uh, build lineups. We'll build 50 lineups, just give it something to do for a while. And then we'll look at the contest sim. So we didn't do it yet, but when you add it, I think it's going to give me – no, it doesn't yet. For some of the sports, it actually gives you a choice of – of the actual contests, um, but it, I guess it didn't uh, do that yet for for uh, for hockey. So we could just fill that in. So the kick save. Uh, let's just take a look. Um, well, we got to pull up the lobby here a second. Contests uh, upcoming, you know, uh, hockey sport and hockey. Kick save is, is 6274 at 25%. So 6274 and 25% for first. Boom. And then we're going to do the top shelf, which is how many? Top shelf is, it's called something else today, but it's uh, top shelf. No, it's uh, 270. And 20% for first. Back to this in a second. Top shelf. 270. So caps. 20% for first. 25% for first. Boom. So now let's build, uh, let's run a contest simulation. But before I do that, let's see what I would have gotten if we just. Um, just take a look and see what we have here. Um, stack exposure. It's giving me actually the 70% LA. And then the other teams I mentioned, Winnipeg, Florida, New Jersey, and, 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 and Vegas. But what's cool, I think, is that when you run the contest sim, 
And if now comparing this build of lineups, well, my entire pool of lineups to the field of lineups and figuring out where I basically get the most leverage. So let's just take a look. So now when we sort this, kick save by risk adjusted ROI, uh, still getting 70% of LA, which is very, uh, very interesting. You want to change this to min uniques too. Hopefully that'll do something, but look at this. Don't get a lot of stats, which is annoying. What is all this? Two, two? Three, two? Wow, they're in a bad mood. This is nuts. So we're gonna we're gonna have to do something about this. As a matter of fact, we gotta force this in now. We're, we're this is this is annoying. So we gotta put in at least. Well, we let's let's, let's start xing the, all these out. This is this is awful. Cannot meet my exposures. This is crazy. It almost feels as like I'm missing some players. I don't think so. Let's just get rid of all this. This is a very strange situation here. Let's only play four threes, five twos, and sixes. We'll just rebuild all the lineups. I don't want to build only 50. I want to build 5,000. 5, is it not in, in sim mode for some reason? This is very odd. It says building 50 lineups. So it looks as though Saber Sim is kind of uh it's kind of like kind of like short circuiting on me here a little bit. Um Oh, it was only at, well, I did this myself, I guess. First of all, I have to put it on Sim. That's why I suck. I don't just say it like that, but I just made a mistake. What I did, what SaberSim does is sometimes it puts you in optimizer mode and not simulation mode. And when you're in, when you're not in simulation mode, you really just don't build anything good. I mean, you don't build any high upside lineups. You just build the optimum. And that's not what we want. Now, ooh, look what I did. I already X'd out all of these types of stacks. So it might take a little bit longer uh, than normal. All right. All right. In, in soccer, is that why I'm making money here? Maybe let's see. Let's survey. Go with the goal. Let's go Ah, so here we go. Oh, here are all the Winnipeg stats, and this is exactly what we want. Four threes, sixes, five twos, fives, and we're getting mostly 74% Winnipeg, 34% LA. Now we're going to run the contest sims. Boy, oh boy. Rough. All right, so let's take a look and see what we have here. We're going to sort these by tick save, risk adjusted ROI, and we're getting uh, Florida, San Jose. That's the big, the big pivot, huh? Otherwise, it's pretty similar. Florida, LA, some Winnipeg, but San Jose and Minnesota creeps up into the list here. As far as stack exposure, this all looks good. So let's uh, save these to my contest for now.
Actually, I want to keep that other one just in case. Let's just put these in here. I like the I like that lineup I made. Maybe I want to keep it. Okay, so we'll do that, and then we will not all contest. That's correct because no my stubborn whatever. We'll upload this. So the most important thing is that we do have the stacks uh, to them. You know, just adds a little bit to the hand building process. You know, it's still not as good, obviously, as the Sabersim optimizer slash lineup builder slash smart randomizer, whatever. But if you did want to hand build, I think that using the stack uh, stack tool will definitely help, at least visualize it. And uh, that'll do it. We'll be going live actually at five forty five or six tonight to uh, take another look at it after the projection after the uh, projections are updated. And that'll do it. Good luck, everybody.